were chosen A through to degrees because of the geographical links between the places where we live and the places where the exhibitions are held. It's a representation of the coastal areas, their connection. Each artist has their own interpretation. Artists who create textual images, we have to take a closer look to see how it's created. I've always been interested in art. I find it a way of switching off, clearing your mind. Why not do something you really love to do? Do you create larger pieces of work with fluidity and your movement? Do you create work that shows confidence and is worthy of exhibiting? My starting point is often quite different depending on the subject or the materials I'm using. I didn't really uh, initially sign on for fine arts. I tried to get into illustration, but unfortunately it, uh, it wasn't running that year. Uh, the reason being that I, I really love comics and illustrated stories, so that's kind of what I wanted to do. To be perfectly honest, I can use the same sort of disciplines you know, that, I, that I would have been doing there. And, and that's probably why my, uh, my work has quite a strong sort of narrative element to it. My uh, interpretation of the, the water theme that we're doing is from the uh, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. More specifically, the, the motif and, and metaphor of the, uh, the albatross around the neck, which, uh, which is essentially a, uh, a burden that we, we must carry because of something that we, we've done in the past. So what I'm doing is, is quite a bit to do with, with the modern office, uh, my feelings towards that, and really you know, m my experience for the bad, unfortunately, um, that I've had through, uh, through working in such an environment. My initial interest was creating detailed watercolour paintings which has now developed into an interest of screen printing. I enjoy combining photographs and drawings and then creating a screen print from that image. While I use a variety of different mediums in my work, the use of colour is constant. My ambitions are to continue exploring a variety of mediums and doing more research which will help me find any new areas of interest and will lead me to the next body of work. Pop art is a strong influence in my work, in particular Andy Warhol and Richard Hamilton. My artwork consists of mainly 3D um, and the use of mixed media. I'm doing sculpture with clay. I also do black and white 3D using charcoal, chalk, bits of paper, etc, etc. My ambition for this exhibition really is to just to show how much hard work we do while we're on this course. We like to think we're progressing, so to let other people see what we're doing. It's a good opportunity just to show how far you can go with a fine art degree course. I'm going to art because I had time on my hands and I already dabbled a little bit and I just wanted to see how far I could take it really. Yeah. Main influences are um, anybody really, uh, portraiture, body, skin, tone, anybody who does that kind of thing influences me. My ambitions, um, well, you'd like to say world famous global domination and that, but I think the truth of the matter is, is that it'd be a dream just to be able to not have to go to a nine to five job and be able to support myself through the art. Maybe boost my pension, you know, give me a bit more freedom to do what I want to do. Start with a plan, don't always go to the plan. That's what I start with, it goes, seems to go on its own little tangent and uh, as long as I stick to it, it generally gets to a place that I'm happy with. Uh, the exhibition is called Undercover. Uh, I think they can perceive that in all kinds of ways really, can't you? I mean, what I'm looking at is the people that make a place great, which is the undercurrent of what turns a town or a city into something good, it's the people that make it. And, in my way, that's they are the undercurrent. Ambitions for the exhibition, just to give me a reason to create art and get my name out there. Really, that's some of the, you know, one of my former tutors said to me when I said to her, "What should I do now?" When I when, she, when I was finishing the course, and she says, "Get your work out there." My method of artwork is basically around screen printing. I also do a bit of dry point and actually any lino, anything that I can cover in the print room. Screen printing means I can use lots of colours 
and I'm not sure what my outcome is going to be until I release the screen print from my page. That's exciting. And I also like the mark making aspect. If you can combine the two and come up with a good creation, it's sure to be a hit. You can also vary the size and you can vary the material. It's all very exciting. I feel that the change from that, from doing a piece of artwork with oil or anything like that, is because the texture is different and also the, the materials are different and that's a big attraction. I've chosen to go into fine arts because I've always been passionate about it since I can remember. I've always been interested in communicating ideas, thoughts and opinions through visual interaction. The influence on my work comes from everywhere and anywhere. I've mainly been influenced by tattoo culture and I think it shows and becomes apparent within all elements of my work through tone and line. Other influences come from society, culture, politics, religion, science, all the big questions in life that everyone seems to have an opinion on but not always has spoken. I choose to show my thoughts and opinions through these subjects, using more controversial imagery that provokes people to question these elements. My style and media varies. I enjoy all aspects of painting, print, drawing, sculpture. I love mixed media as it has no boundaries. I don't believe that one should be confined and labelled to a specific art form. As for my style, I tend to find myself working more figurative, although I do tend to work more expressionistic in terms of colour and applying paint or print. My drawings, I like to be quite finely rendered. I think I work more best in a realism style. My ambitions, maybe go on to complete a master's course and be a master of fine art. My art has always been in my life. I can't remember a time it's never been there. It's the one constant thing that's been with me all my life. I took the degree course because I didn't know where my artwork was taking me and I, and I didn't have a direction for it. I always wanted to be an artist, a proper artist, a true artist. And now being on the course, I'm finding that it's pushing me in directions that I never ever thought that I would go in. And that includes performance art as well, which I was only recently introduced to. My artwork has always been about emotions, and about my feelings, and how to translate them feelings and I'm finding that with performance art, I can get a true representation of those emotions and relay them. The theme undercurrent for me is about what's under the surface. There's an undercurrent in everything. There's an undercurrent in language, there's an undercurrent in politics, there's an undercurrent in life. What you see on the surface is not necessarily what's going on beneath.